Hello students, welcome. Previously, lesson 3, form 3, topic 3, we were dealing with isomerism in alkanes. So today, lesson 4, we want to proceed to the laboratory preparation of alkanes. So we want to see how alkanes are prepared in the lab. So we are saying in a school laboratory, alkanes may be prepared by heating a mixture of sodium alkanoate with the solid soda lime and we're seeing soda lime is the mixture of sodium hydroxide and also calcium oxide in order to get the corresponding alkane less than one carbon atom so we are saying the role of calcium oxide is to keep the deliquescent sodium hydroxide dry that means uh, the role of calcium oxide in the soda lime is it is acting as a drying agent thereby it is drying deliquescent sodium hydroxide so we have general equation and that general equation for preparing alkanes in the lab is that sodium alkanoate balas soda line we are going to heat the mixture and we are going to get alkane and also sodium carbonate so if you want to write chemical equation we have the general chemical equation so that's CN H2N plus 1 COO Na, which is solid in physical state, but as sodium hydroxide from the soda lime, we are going to heat the mixture and we are going to get alkane with the general formula of CN H2N plus 2, which is a gas, and also sodium carbonate. That means sodium carbonate will be formed alongside the alkane being prepared. So let's go and see examples. Number one, we are going to start preparation of methane gas in the lab. How are we going to prepare methane gas in the lab? So we're seeing methane is prepared from the heating of a mixture of sodium ethanoate and soda lime and collecting over water because the gas or methane gas is slightly soluble in water. So what are we seeing here? So for us to prepare methane gas, the two reagents that we are supposed to react is sodium ethanoate so this is from sodium alkanoate and also soda lime which we are going to pick sodium hydroxide when we write the chemical equation so sodium ethanoate plus soda lime we are going to get methane gas and sodium carbonate so let's write the chemical equation for us the chemical equation for us to write the chemical equation we just try to remember this formula how it is so remember methane is having only one carbon so we are going to substitute that one where n where we see n in this equation so we are going to have c1 we don't write one then h2 times one is two plus one that's three that we are going to have o o uh, c o o n a so this is sodium ethanoate so this is solid we are going to add soda lime which we are going to pick sodium hydroxide which is also solid then R, we are going to check what we are going to get we are going to heat the mixture so here we are going to say next cn our n is still one so we're going to have c h then two times one is two plus two that's four which is a gas balas then sodium carbonate which is in the formula so sodium carbonate is sodium. so that's how we are going to write the reaction uh, for the formation of methane gas in the lab okay let's proceed and see how the setup for the preparation of methane gas look like remember we said methane gas is collected of a water method since the gas is slightly soluble in water that's what we have said so if you check we are collecting the gas of a water method this is the water and this is the gas methane gas since that methane is slightly soluble in water here we are having the round bottom flask which is in slanted position and we are having a mixture of sodium ethanoate and also soda lime so when the mixture of sodium ethanoate and soda lime are heated that means methane gas is evolved or methane gas is produced which, be, which will be collected by our water method so what are the physical properties of methane gas one it is a colorless and lime poisonous gas or non-toxic gas number two it is an odorless gas three it is less denser than air and number four we are saying it is insoluble in water that's why we are collecting it by our water method but very soluble or soluble 
in organic solvent like ethanol and also chloromethane. So we want to proceed to the second gas, that's ethane gas. So we want to go and see preparation of uh, ethane gas. So I say ethane is prepared from heating a mixture of sodium with and also soda lime and collected over water method since the gas is slightly soluble in water. So remember the formula for for preparing alkenes in the lab is that we have to take sodium alkane with. So the alkane with the, how we are, how are we going to know our alkane with? We are supposed to know first of all which gas are we preparing. We are preparing ethane. So we check what will come after after ethane in the first uh, ten members of alkene series. It's berobane. So you make it alkane with side. So it will be berobane with. So if you want to prepare a uh, berobane, you will just check which which one will be or which member of alkane comes after berobane. That's butane. So the alkane will be butane with like that. So if I want to prepare ethane, I have to take sodium berobane with. Then I react with soda lime. And I'm going to hit the mixture so that ethane gas will be evolved or will be formed. So here we are saying ethane is prepared with ethane is prepared from heating of a mixture of sodium bromanoids and soda lime and collecting of water since the gas is slightly soluble in water. Let's write the chemical equation. So how are we going to write sodium bromanoid in chemical symbol? What we are going to do is we just remember the formula for uh, writing the chemical symbol for the preparation of alkenes, which was CN H2N plus 1, then we were having COO and A plus sodium hydroxide. So we were having R thereafter, then we were having CN H2N plus 2 plus sodium carbonate. This was the general formula. So in this case, ethane is having two carbon because it's having the prefix for F and it said F stands for two carbon atoms. So let's substitute two to where we see N. So we are going to have C2H. Two times two is four plus one, that's five. Then COO and A, which is a sodium. So this is our sodium uh, bromanoid. So in this case, I've written it like this, but you can separate this and write it in condensed, like you can say CH3, then you can write CH2, then COO and A sodium. They are just one and the same. So plus sodium hydroxide plus. So methane, I mean ethane will be having two carbons, so we are going to have C2, then H2 times 2 is uh, 4 plus 2, that will be 6. So you can write your ethane gas as C2. H6, which is a gas, because writing in this way, molecular formula, or writing condensed structural formula, it's just one and the same, because both of them have two carbon, here two carbon, then six hydrogen, even here six hydrogen, then plus sodium carbonate, which will be formed alongside ethane gas. Okay, let's see how the setup of uh, that look like. It's just the same with that side of laboratory preparation of methane gas. So the change is that it's from alkane with side. Here we are going to use sodium berberate. When we are preparing methane, we are using sodium methane with. And the other thing that's changing is the gas that we are collecting here is ethane gas. But in our first uh, preparation of methane gas, our gas was methane gas. But any other thing is just one and the same. Okay, we want to proceed to the physical properties of alkanes. So we have the name of the alkane, the first 10 member for our methane all the way to decay. Then their molecular formula, we are having a state. Their state at room temperature. Remember, we say the first four are gases. That's methane, ethane, bromine, and butane. Then from number five all the way to number 10, they are liquids. From methane uh, all the way to decay, they are just liquid. And we are told from decay downwards, they are just solids. So here we are having their melting point and also boiling point, and here we are having the density. Melting point and boiling point, they are going to increase along the series, while also the density also increases along the series. So we proceed to see the general physical properties of alkanes, and we said alkanes are colorless gases, liquids, and solids that are non poisonous. That means they are non toxic. They are insoluble in water, but soluble in organic solvents such as ethanol and also tetrachloromethane. 
So let's see the melting point and boiling point of volcanoes. We are seeing the melting point and boiling point of volcanoes increases along the series. Reason: This is due to the increase in the number of carbon atoms, which increases the strength of the intermolecular force in the intermolecular force of attraction. Then let's proceed to the density. We are seeing the density of volcanoes increases along the series, just like the melting point and the boiling point. And the result can be just you can take it the same, or you can see this is with the increase in the molecular mass or molecular size, one and the same. Lastly, we proceed to the solubility of alkanes, and we say the solubility of alkanes decreases along the series. So, reason this is due to the increase in the molecular size. That's the end of our video today. Thank you.